What do airplanes use for fuel? There's two main categories of aviation fuel, and they are known as avgas or jet fuel. Avgas is very similar to car gasoline, which would be known as MOGAS for motor vehicles. You have 87, 91 octane, all of that, right? Your avgas is going to be 100 octane. And typically in smaller piston engines, they use 100 low lead avgas. So it's got some additives in it that's slightly different than your car gasoline. The additives might include anti-icing, things for the piston engine specifically. Your car gas is going to use additives like detergents and things for kind of keeping the engine clean. It's just slightly different. So you wouldn't use regular car gas in an airplane engine. In a piston engine, you would use typically 100 low lead avgas. Now in a jet aircraft, that's totally different. We use jet fuel and jet fuel can be broken out into jet A, the most common. There's also A1 and there's jet B, much less common, but different, again, different additives. And when you order your jet A, when you land in an airport, you put in your fuel order for the next time when you're gonna depart, they'll always ask if you want the additives in it. Typically people will put in the anti-ice additive. Some airports don't even give you the option. It's already added in and it's jet A plus, and it's got that additive in it to keep it from freezing basically when you're up at really high altitudes. Now the military uses a slightly different version, although it's almost the same. They just have their own mixture in there. And in the military, it's gonna be categorized as JP8 or JP5, depending on the type of fuel that you're using. In the US Air Force, we always used JP8, although there were rules and guidelines around when you need to use regular Jet A or when you need to use JP5, or if you're at a different location and you're using a different type of fuel, the engine can take those different types of fuel. Now you wouldn't put 100 low lead avgas into a jet engine. It's got a different combustion point. It's just a different fuel. But your jet fuel is a kerosene based fuel that is made to burn at a higher flash point because our jet engines burn at a much higher temperature. That's kind of the rundown. There are more details about avgas and jet fuel and mogas that you could really dive into and get super nerdy on. But as the pilot flying, you have to make sure you're putting the correct fuel into your airplane, just like you would into your car. But that's a great question. Thanks for asking it. If you have more like it, hit me up in the comments, like and follow for more.